Hello, my name is Brandon Belanger. I'm an artist and an amphibian biologist. The Melamp reliquaries really are kind of the, the artistic output from my research into deformed amphibians. The clearing and staining process for myself is used for scientific research purposes, but I'm also quite interested in the aesthetic side from an artistic standpoint. So each one of the Melamp reliquaries literally is kind of a, a portrait of one of these terminally deformed frogs. This is DFA 200 Artemis. It's of a small parametamorphic, so this is literally a late stage tadpole that's just coming to land, but if you notice, it's not going to be able to come to land because the hind limbs are missing. One of the first images that came from this series, Melamp Reliquaries, is DFA 18 Triton, and this is a cleared and stained Pacific tree frog. Instead of a photograph, it's actually using a high resolution scanner to take the image. For scientific publications, it's much easier for me to just take a photograph, uh, just to document the specimen. But when creating artworks, I try to position them almost as though they're alive, or they're dancing, or they're swimming, or they're moving, to just bring them back to life in a way. This is DFA 155, or Morpheus. One of the great things that really pops out in this particular specimen are the cysts. Now these are trematode cysts from a parasite which we believe caused the supernumeric limb growth in this frog. At least these trematode parasites have been proven in laboratory simulations to be able to generate supernumeric limbs like this. They look so incredibly strange, and, and you are looking at kind of an image of a, of a terminally abnormal creature, but by making them about the size of a human toddler, it's really much more at a psychological scale where we can associate instead of de-associate or be frightened. And if they're too small, it's very easy to walk away. If they're too large, they're really quite frightening. Making them this scale seems to bring people in, so you have this kind of one-to-one -one experience. 